Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you all about um, some issues that I had been experiencing from um, having our house treated for um, spiders and bugs like that and um, just kind of what I experienced from that process. So if you're interested, just keep watching. So, up until last week, I would say, is when I started to feel better. And, you know, it's kind of one of those things where you just keep working through the process and you keep trying to figure out, okay, like, what's wrong with me? I just wanted to tell you guys what was going on in my home. Um, so back in December, I would say, um, I started to get this really itchiness and rash on my stomach and I didn't know what was going on and, um, finally decided to see the doctor and I believe I didn't go until January, but in December is when it started. And I had been feeling like very fatigued. I wasn't sure what was going on. Um, my blood pressure was always really low. I mean, it wasn't extremely low, but it was low. And um, I just didn't know what was going on. I, I kept thinking that maybe um, it had to do with premenopause or... Um, Maybe I was just tired that day. At that time, I was still working, so uh, it would be reasonable to think that maybe um, I was just tired from the day or I had had a long day. But um, we have always had our house sprayed, and um, they come and spray, I believe, every three months. And our house, it's pretty solid like we don't um when i say solid i mean we don't uh have windows open or anything like that it's closed solidly we don't uh, have our um we don't have any ventilation coming from outside inside so it's just the house is closed off for the most part and so um i just started to feel really bad and you know we've had them spray our house for gosh i would think we're going on over a year maybe close to two years and i never had experienced this before but of course i had never been at home 24 7 like I am now and so during the Christmas break um, even though I was still working we were able to be off during the holidays and not go back until January so I would say starting like December 21st was when I really started staying home all day long and um, just really started to feel sick and I'll insert some um, pictures and of what I was experiencing as far as like my veins my veins would protrude and they almost felt like they were gonna bust I mean it it was so intense like they would get so super full and I felt like pretty much like they were gonna bust and I didn't know what was going on I kept thinking oh maybe it's my cholesterol maybe um uh, blood isn't flowing through but like I said I kept pushing through and when I went to the doctor I told him about my veins and uh, I told him about my rash and so he treated me for the rash he said I definitely had an, an allergic reaction to something he just didn't know what he said I can't tell you what it is and I may never be able to tell you what it is but you had an allergic reaction to something and so um I was like, okay, and I told him about my veins, and he said, I have no idea why your veins are doing that, and I showed him the pictures and everything. 
So anyway, I started the treatment for the rash on my stomach and I tried to continue on. I continue, I tried to continue, you know, life because of course I needed to get things done. I couldn't just sit down and be like, okay, well, I'm sick, you know? And so, and, and plus the confusion, it was just like, what is wrong with me? And that was the other thing is that I would lose focus. I would lose my train of thought. I always felt like I didn't know what to say, or, um, I would, I couldn't think of simple words. Like I'd see something and I'd be like, what is that? You know, the confusion was real. <laughs> I mean, I was just like, why don't I remember what that is? Or why can't I remember what this is? And then I always felt dizzy. Like I always felt like I was going to pass out. And the nights were worse because um, I would be laying down in bed and I would feel like something was, first of all, I couldn't sleep. And then I sweat profusely. And again, like I said, menopause, a lot of these symptoms are right in line with that. So I didn't think too much about it. I thought, well, maybe that's just what's happening to me. And so um, I was experiencing that. But the worst part was feeling like I was like I was going to die. I really felt like, okay, this is my last night. I mean, and I would wake up and I could feel like my eyes going to the back of my head. And, you know, I don't want to tell my husband because I didn't want to alarm him or anything. I had already gone to the doctor. I had already told him my symptoms and I just felt like, okay, I don't know what, what's going on. I don't know what this is. And so, um, I felt like I couldn't breathe and, um, I would try to just figure out or dismiss it or whatever. And I didn't feel like leaving the house. Like I rarely, left the house. I was just here all day long and um, just wasn't feeling healthy. I felt like, again, like I was dying and uh, there would be moments that I would wake up in the morning and, and think, oh, you know, thank you God for giving me another day. Literally not promised because I just felt, that's how bad I felt. I felt so bad. I, and it just seemed like something was crawling in my body. I felt like, uh, like I was being poisoned. Pretty much that's how I felt, like I was being poisoned. And when we went to San Antonio, this is how recent that is, because that was just last week. When we went to San Antonio, I felt like... Um, better and I thought this is weird why would I sleep so well in the hotel room and not in my own bed at home and um, the more I thought about it the more I thought I, I this has to be the pesticide this has to be what they've been spraying in the house we've never uh, ventilated the house. They, they have sprayed and sprayed. And even though they have sprayed for over a year, I have never been home 24 seven. So I never really knew that, uh, this was happening to me until, like I said, it kept getting worse. It started out with, um, like I said, my veins, my blood pressure, the rash, the not being able to sleep at night, the sweats, the feeling like I was poisoned. I would just jerk out of my sleep sometimes and be like, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm dying. Literally, like I said, like I was being poisoned. And um, so when we were on that trip, I told my husband, it is so strange to me that I have slept so well in this hotel room than I do at home. And I really feel like we need to ventilate the house because every time they have sprayed, we have never ventilated the house. Like we never 
have like opened the windows or anything like that. And um, so when we got home and it was late, we got home, I would say like at 9.30 or 10, something like that. And we opened all the windows. We opened the windows to the kitchen, to the bedroom, to the bathroom, mainly the areas that I'm in all the time. But my main concern was the bedroom. And um, we did that and I'm fine again. I mean, I feel like I'm, I feel back to where I was before all of this happened. I mean, I feel I don't feel fatigue anymore. I'm sleeping great. Um, I just think that it's really important that if you do have your house sprayed and you're experiencing any of the symptoms that I've mentioned, you might want to ventilate your house. And we take those things for granted. We think, well, surely air is flowing through the house. I mean, it's not completely closed off, but you'd be surprised, you know, when you have a certain type of window or you know you never open the doors and, and especially me like I never left the house and so you have to be really careful with stuff like that and know that you're uh, ventilating your rooms and and um, not breathing in all of that poison and it's designed to keep your house free from spiders and bugs and whatever but it can also poison you and uh the more i read about it the more i realized that it could have been fatal it i it could have poisoned me and i could have died from it and um i look back now and i think wow you know that's so crazy that something so simple as just opening the window could have saved me from all of this um all of these things that I was experiencing, all of these things that I was going through. And, and like I said, it was extreme. And the only time I felt really good was when I was out of the house. And thank God that he gave me the wisdom to put those things together and to realize that I am literally being poisoned at home because of the pesticide. And so um, I just wanted to put this out there and encourage you all to... Um, like I said, if you're experiencing any of the symptoms, if you know you get your house sprayed regularly, that you ventilate your home because it can poison you. If you have little ones, your children, your pets, whatever, you know, just be very careful about um, how you are proactive in terms of. Uh, in terms of getting your house sprayed and then vent ventilated on your own because if you don't you're just sitting in a in a house full of poisonous toxins and trust me you don't want to go through what I went through and then try to figure it out because the past few months we're already in May so the past five months I would even say five and a half because like I said, I was at home in December. Uh, I was literally being poisoned. So I just want to put that out there. I hope that it helps somebody and that uh, you take precautions to not let that happen to you. And and thank you, Jesus, that I feel so much better. My, my thoughts are more clear. My focus is clear. I feel energetic. I feel back to normal. So I just wanted to put it out there so you guys stay safe and ventilate your homes. Thank you for watching. Bye.